In this video, we are going to discuss about the solution for matrix difference problem. So, let us see the problem statement. The problem statement says that matrix difference is a binary operation. So, there will be two uh, operands which operates on two matrices of any dimensions and represented by the symbol. This is the symbol that is uh, used. Of course, this has no correlation with your implementation. This is just the description of the operation by the author. And it is defined as follows, uh, the author says that M3 will be equal to M1 difference M2. If this is required, then you have to form the matrix 3 uh, in which the ith row jth column element will be M1 of ij if that element is not present in M2 okay? and that element will be 0 otherwise. Otherwise in the sense it means that if the element of matrix M1 in the i row jth column is present in M2. There is no specification like it should be in the same position or not. If it is present in M2 itself, then you are going to make that as 0. Okay. Otherwise, you can uh, say like uh, okay, where uh, M1 of ij is not an element of M2 indicates that it is not an element of matrix 2. Okay, this is just a description. So, given two matrices M1 and M2, write a code to find M1 difference M2. And example is also given. Now, consider the 3 across 3 matrix 4, 5, 7, 1, 9, 11 and 12, 3, 2 and M2 is a 2 cross 2 matrix 15, 5, 11, 2. There is no correlation between the dimension. No, uh, no such things like rows and columns should be same or uh, uh, like we have for matrix addition, multiplication, no such specification is required for this operation. Now, we are going to uh, form M3. When you look at M3, when you see 4, 4 is not present in M2. It is not anywhere. So, you will directly put 4. When you take the next element 5, it is present in the matrix, second matrix. So, you will put as 0. And uh, 7, when you look at the matrix, it is not present. So, put as uh, 7. 1 is not present 1. 9 is not present 9. 11 is present. So, 0. 12 is not present. So, 12. 3 is not present. 3. 2 is uh, present so it is 0 okay? and also this information is additional information about the operation the author is giving it is not commutative. So, we are going to find out M2 difference M1 it will be a 2 cross 2 matrix and it will be of this form actually this is not related to the solution what you are going to form but maybe for better understanding you can go through this and there is a note also given uh, this problem is going to take only valid inputs and then the output the last column of each row is followed by a space. This is for your understanding when you are going to solve the problem uh, because online judges strictly follows the output right. Uh, as expected your output should be there even if there is a difference in the space or line then you will get mismatch. So, this uh, cl for clarity this line is given. And the input format understanding is very very important particularly for problems like this. Uh, because we have to know when to read the dimension, when to read the elements and so on. Uh, so, you should carefully read the input format. When you read the input format, you see that the first line contains the number of rows in the matrix M1 and a variable name is given here R1 and second line contains um, the column, number of columns in matrix 1 and when you look at the ne next line of this input format, it says that next R1 lines contain the elements of one row of M1 separated by a space. For example, if there are going to be 3 rows in M1, it will be like this. Okay? So, each row will be containing, uh, each row or each line will be containing the elements of one row separated by a space. So, you have to think how to read the input. You cannot just use the input function alone. Yeah, we will see about that. And uh, when you look at the input form, next line contains the number of uh, rows in the second matrix, number of columns in the second matrix followed by R2 lines containing the elements of one row of M2 separated by similarly similar to the M1. You are going to have uh, so many lines equal to the number of rows of M2 right and this is already seen and output format is you have to print in the format of a matrix. Okay, So, M3 whichever you have formed it should be printed in one line and elements in the row should be separated by a space. 
and after reading the problem description what i infer is you can have multiple ways of solving the problem but this is my own interpretation and my own representations okay so matrix 1 when you look at it it shall be represented as a list of lists first thing that we have to just make clear is how to represent a matrix when we are going to mathematically write it for example i can say like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this is a two dimensional structure so how to represent the two dimensional structure we already know that list is present for uh, having a collection of one dimensional thing right so each row can be represented as represented as a list okay so uh, each row i am going to represent as a list and then i am going to put everything inside another one big list okay so i am going to put comma so there are three elements in the uh, big list okay that is going to be the mat uh, matrix and each element by itself will be a list actually here a list can contain numbers or uh, you can have strings or you can have uh, tuples or list or anything uh, a list can be uh, can can heterogeneous type of elements also so you can have combination of numbers and so on right uh, let us not go in depth into that uh, this understanding is alone is enough okay so this uh, list is going to represent the matrix this bigger list and uh, this uh, each smaller list is going to represent the row so how we can uh, create that all, that we will see when we are writing the code right uh, so basically what you can do is first of all you can say if matrix is m1 i will say m1 equal to a empty list right and then i will read the elements of the first matrix and form a list okay i will read the uh, elements of the first row and form a list and then i will insert into this list similarly i will read the elements of the second row and form a list and then i'll be adding to it and then i'll be reading the elements of the third row and form a list and then add to m1 so that i can form a matrix this is how a two dimensional structure can be represented in python and the second thing is when i look at matrix m2 okay so for matrix m1 i am going to have a list of list right this is my idea what about the elements of matrix 2 whether i should have a matrix representation when i look at the uh, problem and i analyze it it's not important to have a two dimensional structure at all because uh, the elements position nothing is important we are going to just uh, see whether it is present in m2 or not right so i decided to have it as a list itself uh, all the elements will be as a single list so what i mean to say is um, if i am having a matrix like 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay this is a 3 cos 2 matrix i will just maintain a list with six elements because position is not important nothing is important even i can shuffle this that is not going to affect my logic right so i am going to have it as a list itself and then what about matrix m3 the problem description says that you should form a m3 matrix but i am not uh, uh, thinking like that because um, when you are going to form the matrix uh, uh, m3 uh, m1 is not at all required further okay i can make modification in m1 itself that's the idea i am having in my mind i am not going to construct a new, new matrix m3 instead what i am going to do is i am going to traverse the matrix m1 and i am going to make changes according to the constraints given in the problem i am not going to construct matrix m3 okay so it may not be a, a new matrix and we can make changes in matrix m1 itself so what the functions i am going to use in the solution is this is my own implementation you can have different ideas right i am going to use the split function what is a split function a split function will be applied to string to separate the elements based on delimiters okay and by default space is the delimiter so let me show it on the terminal uh, so if you are going to have like a string okay if i am having a, a string like a, yeah a b c and i can just apply this split you will see that you will get list of elements whatever is separated by space okay let me show it clearly it's not like each element only space is the default delimiter so if there is a space between then i will Uh, the split function will take it as a element that's the idea so split i am going to use next one is map map is a function which is used for uh, applying a function for an iterable structure what i mean here is for example i have got a list okay if i have got a list with um, 
uh, numbers but in string format right what I mean to say here is see actually 1 2 3 are numbers only but uh, uh, since they have been put inside the quotes they are treated as strings okay now what I am going to do is I am going to convert them to I am going to convert them to integers everything to a integer so what will I do is I will just put in you can look at the tooltip that comes this is what is called as a tooltip okay first parameter for the map is the function which we are going to apply for each and every element of the iterable list is iterable string is iterable tuple is iterable everything is iterable so you can up use this map function for applying a function it can be int or float or even square root whatever may be you can apply a function to a uh, iterable structure okay to a list or to a tuple if for each and every element it will apply and return you a map object actually right so I am going to apply for this list and I am going to convert that back to a list okay so you will see that now you can find the difference the same 1 2 3 is only there but here it is a list of strings but here it is list of integers so map function have applied the int function for each and every element of the list so I am what I am going to do is first of all I will read the input using the input function we all know that uh, this is this this one I am going to do when I am going to read each row okay uh, because it is specified in the problem that the elements of each row will be separated by a space so I need some technique to uh, convert it into uh, integers and to a list right so I am going to use this uh, input will read the entire line okay and uh, it will uh, that is uh, in the line if it is 1 2 3 it will read the entire line and split function will help me to split it into individual things based on space and it will give me a list but the problem is it will be a list of strings what split is giving me is this uh, list of strings I want to convert it into integer means I will be using the map function for the list of strings to convert it into list of integers then I am going to use this append function you all know that this is a function present in list and it is used for adding a element to a list for example if I have a list like this 1 2 3 dot append of 4 if I am giving like this then this 4 will be added to this list itself and the list will become 1 2 3 4 this is how append works and next when you look at concatenation how will you do concatenation for listeners plus operator will be used for example if you have 1 2 and if I put plus 3 comma 4 then I will get a new list with all the 4 elements which are present in list 1 as well as list 2 ok so I am going to use uh, these functions and operators in my solution that is the idea so let us look at the solution so first you are reading the number of rows in the first uh, matrix <coughs> then number of columns in the first matrix and then I have formed a empty list for the matrix, uh, matrix 1 and then what I am doing is I am reading the elements of the first row of first matrix ok so you can see that I am going to loop through this loop will run for each row so for each row what we are doing is we are reading the input and we are using split function to divide it into a number of strings ok uh, of course they are numbers but they are divided into uh, strings list of string will be returned by this particular uh, input dot split and then I am applying the map function to convert each element to an integer and I am converting back, back to a list so this row element will be having row underscore el will be having a list with elements in the ith row and then what I am doing is I am using the append function so when I use the append function just now we saw the entire list will be added as an element to matrix 1 ok then I am reading the uh, this will be repeated for r ones. that is fine so matrix 1 will be constructed and then I am reading the dimension of r2 and c2 and then I am going to have a list well I was discussing the uh, formation itself my idea I told you I am not going to have a matrix representation for the elements of matrix 2 because this problem this particular problem does not demand that there is no specific thing like uh, position is important and so on so I am just going to have like list ok and then what I am doing I am once again reading uh, each and uh, every row elements of second matrix and then I am converting it into a, a list of integers see here I am using the concatenation operator this is the compound way ok so when I say elements of matrix plus equal to 
this is equal to writing elements of matrix equal to elements of matrix plus row so concatenation will happen means i will get a new list with elements of the first operand as well as the second operand here in the sense it will be added to the elements of matrix 2 and it will be uh, put there itself and then i am going to traverse matrix 1 as i told you i am not going to construct a new matrix instead i am going to make the changes in the matrix 1 itself so i am going to traverse and i am going to check whether this matrix ij is present in elements of matrix in the operator i am using if it is present then i am going to make it as zero then after doing this i am going to print the matrix so when you look at it you traverse the row and column one by one and you are going to print the element and when you are going to print for each row i am just saying end equal to uh, space okay so that there is a space after printing if you are not mentioning this then by default the control will come to the next line but your output format asks you to print element of the matrix separated by each row separated by a space and then after finishing your row your control should come to the next line so you will see the print this print is associated with this particular for here I am saying print without anything means automatically it will come bring the control to the next line alone I am not printing anything but just bringing the cursor to the next line okay thank you